out this video. Look, phone, even if you just want to sit there and scroll, right? So it comes there, you set it up, you got your little stand, and then you can just scroll just like that. So this is really important because sometimes holding your hand, you know, holding your phone in your hand right in front of your face um, for long periods of time is really just not that great. This is really awesome because you can prop your phone up away from you, really get some distance, and then control the, your, your phone, right? Control the content on your phone with the Bluetooth remote control. So this one's really doing, um, a, a, you know, it's our top seller right now. So if you're interested in the TikTok Bluetooth remote control, we only have 500 available, okay? We only have 500 available. Once 500 um, are, are sold, no more available at the store but please come back check out the store because there are always a piece of new items just like the you know the twinkle edition by the moment this one was fantastic for valentine's day this one's great if you're trying to set the mood inside your house and you want to just really create an awesome vibe right it's a, 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 an elegant ambiance and really this this natural you know uh, um vine that really just emulates this beautiful color okay it really becomes a, a piece of a, a great piece of art um you know a really a showstopper if you put it in the living room but sometimes you don't have to do it you're right in your bed um you know like this design right here this is really awesome grab two of them and then you kind of make this little art right in front of you know behind your headboard this is really really cool great lighting for you know late night for the kid that you just don't want the tv screen on and that you know that screen light can really be really really effective give you a headache so you just turn on the vibe mode it's too television and really sit the right way so go check out digital domain Let's just take a quick. This is Charlie Lee. I'm the creator of Litecoin, and I'm currently the director of the Litecoin Foundation. Yeah, we started the Litecoin Foundation in 2016 to support Litecoin and, and crypto in general. Um, basically, push for adoption, sponsor uh, developers to work on Litecoin, and um, just more awareness about crypto and Litecoin, and try to get more people to use it. We've been working on. Um, adding more privacy and fungibility to Litecoin. For a while now, we launched it last year. It's a project called MWeb. Mm -hmm. It's adding the uh, technology called Mimblewimble to, to Litecoin, which makes Litecoin more fungible. Fungibility is a, is a property of money. Um, what, what it actually means is um, like every every dollar is the same as every other, every other dollar. So if you go to a store and you pull out a $20 bill, it doesn't matter which one you choose to use. The, the store would accept any one because each $20 bill is fungible with each other. Um, that's not the case with, with Bitcoin um, today uh, because of the privacy issue with Bitcoin where the history of a coin is attached to a coin. So if, for example, um, someone used Darknet Marketplace um, to buy something with their coins, then they deposit that coin.
chain could see where the coin's been and decide to uh, blacklist the person or close their account because they didn't like where um, they spent the coin. So that makes the coin not fungible, right? Every coin is not equal to every other coin. It makes it not a very good form of money. So with Litecoin, what we're doing is try to make um, Litecoin more fungible. For adoption, we work with a lot of companies to push for support of Litecoin. So for example, BitPay, one of the largest um, payment processors for, for cryptocurrency, supports Litecoin, added support for Litecoin a couple years ago, and the adoption people started to use more and more Litecoin for BitPay. It's up to something like 27% of all BitPay transactions, people use Litecoin. So that's kind of pushing for adoption, getting more people to use Litecoin to spend it. The main use case for Litecoin is using it as money, means of payment. So um, it's great to see more and more people start using Litecoin for, for buying stuff. Litecoin is the, is the coin, right? It's the decentralized cryptocurrency. The foundation is actually a centralized organization that is supporting the, the coin, the network, um, the, the development of the coin. Litecoin Foundation is a, is a nonprofit. We run off of donation, revenue share with partnership with others and just selling merchandise. Just every way we can to, to raise money to support the coin and the network. So MWeb, which I've mentioned, is a project to make Litecoin more fungible. And we're currently supporting it to add more, um, to make it work well with mobile wallets. Right now it's one desktop wallet that supports it. So um, not, not a lot of people are able to use it. Um, so once we start supporting with mobile wallets, there'll be more and more people able to use MWeb. My focus with, with Litecoin and crypto is just making it the best form of money you've ever seen. How that 